Okay, so which way you got it? Sorry about that. Here. <sighs> so here we go, y'all. You got major, major work to do. You got puppies. This puppy right here, not looking too good. Not looking too strong. Mom is not nursing the puppies to my satisfaction. She, remember from the last letter, I don't know if you remember, but remember she did, didn't clean up no boo-boo off the puppies. So I had me in here washing booties. Now, she doesn't want to stay by the puppies. She wants to... You know, the puppies, when I come in, they're sitting in their own pile and she's sitting over here beside the puppies. So, I had to get her to lay down. That's poop on her nose. I had to get her to lay down. I taught her how to, well, I was showing her how to stick this leg, this bottom leg under and lay over on that side and expose the nipples, expose the teeth to the puppies. So we got some strong puppies and we got some weak puppies. For whatever reason, this guy right here, I'm not able to get this dog to nurse. I don't know whether it's because uh, it done got cold, but it don't have no suckling reflex. So I, I can test the suck, the reflex to suck like this, just sticking my finger in the mouth. And this, this dog ain't, Another thing, a good, a, a bad, a bad indicator is this puppy is not writing itself up. So it's down on the ground. If you look at this puppy here, let's do this puppy. See how it works its way back onto its feet. So that's a good sign that this puppy is just strong and thriving. This is the other small. This is the other smaller puppy around the same age. And see, it's able to write itself back up. This guy though, it just ain't got enough strength. So that's another bad sign. And unfortunately, you lose some puppies. You know, when you have large litters, I'm not a real big fan of large litters. I like small litters, six to nine is the ideal. I mean, this is really stressful for mom. You know, the puppy won't have to suffer like this. It's stressful for me. It's stressful for Jayla. It's stressful for everybody involved. Like when you have something like this happen. So we, we gonna still do our best to work with this puppy. I'm gonna um, tube feed this puppy to make sure that it's getting some some feeding. And that's what I would do is take the um, syringe and the tube and I'm gonna put that directly into the puppy's stomach. Back, and I'm gonna based off the weight of this dog. So I weigh the puppy up. It's very difficult. It's called tube feeding. Based on the weight of this puppy, look at this. When you a dog man, that can't bother you getting poop all over you. You see me? I'm down on down on the floor. Yeah. So we are gonna do what we can with this pup. It's a little cool to touch. So the puppy should be around 101 degrees. That means they should be warm. That means they should be warm to, to the touch. This puppy, however, is cold. So that's telling me that the temperature is dropped. It's not able to metabolize the nutrition. Because of that dog not being able to metabolize the nutrition, it doesn't have any strength. So we're gonna try to get this puppy warmed up and then we're gonna move, move it into the ICU. But uh, you know, you can't, this is it's just the hard part about breeding. We got 13 puppies. We can't allow this one puppy to cost the whole litter. Mom will be intensely worried about this dog. We allow this puppy to cry. We allow this puppy to cry. This will really stress the mom out. It's important to take, remove puppies like this that's nerd, that's making this, this noise. You have to remove them because the mom's maternal instinct 
is not going to allow her to have a sick puppy that's making this kind of noise. She'll bury the puppy before she allows it to make this kind of noise. And the reason for that is that might attract a predator in the wild. Let's say she's in the wild and she's trying to, you know, her den will be very secluded in a very secluded and remote location. She'll go away from other dogs and danger. She'll find a nice quiet place to have her pups. So when you have a pup like this that's making a lot of noise, that becomes problematic because what happens is now you're making the whole spot hot for the rest of the puppies. Danger, you you alert and danger. Danger is listening and looking for weakness. Danger is looking for weakness. The predators are looking for weaknesses. So if they hear a puppy faintly crying or suffering, that's gonna let them know, hey, look, this sounds like a dinner time. That sounds like a snack. And in some cases, mom would eat a puppy like this. So we have to remove the puppy from the nest in order to let mom help her get more comfortable. So that's why this is a nightmare. People think 13 puppies is a dream. To me, it's a nightmare. 13 puppies is a... I just did nine puppies in this same room. What, 10 days ago? Mm -hmm. Let's go take a look at those other puppies. You been in there with them? Mm -hmm. How they acting? Fine. Look at this pup. Black face. It's got the heavy blackness. So let's go over these. We got one boy. Two boys. God, I feel your breath. Three males, one all black. Everybody else is girls. So we got nine girls. Well, pardon me, y'all. Lay down. Go lay down.
Sit down. Yeah, I said big talk. Oh my God. Bitch keep getting up. You want me to end the live? No. Get down. No, because I need everybody to see. How long? What did it take for her to get up? She just got up on her own. Mm -hmm. As soon as I walked away. Mm -hmm. Every single time I do this, every time that I walk away, just sit right there, Jayla. I'm going to take the dog outside and see if she needs to go outside. Maybe I'm going to bring the water in here or something. But every time I get up, she leaves. You know? Get in. Get some close up, man. You got to go home? What time is it? Nine. About ready? I just want to go to sleep. Me too. Really? Me too. All right, give me five. Get there. Five minutes. Boobies, boobies. Boobies, 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 Another, sorry about that. We had to now nah, watch this. Let's see how she do. She usually what happens is she comes in here and flops down on the puppies. You know? A thing. Come on. Come on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently guide her. Gently guide her. Yes. See how she kicked that puppy? It's okay. Now, see how she's trying to cover the pups? This is why you have to be there. Look at the way that she's in here on top of the puppies. Nobody is going to be able to nurse like this. And you may walk in and peep in and look and say, oh yeah, the puppy's just doing good. Nah, nah, we're gonna do a little bit more than just peep in and see. You understand? Because I have been in doing this long enough to know that this is not good enough for me. I don't want to see puppies laid out nursing. So, I don't know, maybe this girl has got to go potty because I keep catching gas from her. But, so what I'm going to do, you see I'm grabbing this leg here. I'm grabbing this leg and I'm going to just bring her over here gently. Right? Start putting these puppies over here. Got these, see how I got these boobs exposed? That's how. See, so this is this is the nightmare. It's wrestling, you ain't here all night long doing this all night long. So we're gonna take the puppies. This maybe this will help her relax. See, and then dog burping in my, your face. But you know what, when you a dog man, that that's not supposed to bother you. That, that don't bother you. So now, we get all of the puppies. Right here in a nice pile. We would like to see, now maybe we can get those, those boobs as well. But I'm gonna need this elbow also. And I'm trying to convince her. See, I'm going to gently push her down. Oh, my God. That's what I want, right there. 
Got that leg out. Good girl. Now, we gotta get these puppies to nursing. So, I like to start with what I consider to be one of the smaller, the smaller pups are those that's gonna be at the most risk. Big talk, back up. Yeah, so we'll use, we're gonna put this smaller pup on there first. So, I'll be in here doing this all night long. All night long. And I'm, I'm going to make sure, just come in on this side back. Come in, get in right here. So, what I did was I was able to get her to expose uh, about five or six teats, right? So, I'm gonna make sure five or six pups is nursing. I'm really concerned about this dog because how his face is all sunken in, and I'm gonna compare him to another dog. I want you to just see the difference. You see how this face is well filled, this head is well filled, whereas this puppy's eyes look like they're a little bit sucked in. That's dehydration. That's a that's a big problem. So I'm gonna make sure that this dog, before anybody else, is nursing. She's a little bit weaker, and she got right on that. She got right on there, so she's a fighter, you know. We hopefully we can get, hopefully we can get this dog uh, into the third or fifth day. If we in the third, we can get her into the third or fifth day, she'll make it. Because by that time, you know she's suckling strong. We get the puppy into the third or fifth day, we can supplemental feed the dog. These first three. These first three days are very, very uh, vital to the puppy survival. No. Situation like this, we got a odd shaped teeth right here. Okay, we got her on there. It's odd, it's odd shaped though. The actual nipple. So here we go again. Another looked like the puppies was in there nursing. Good, didn't it? No, nah, this puppy ain't, ain't nobody nursing on this titty right here. That puppy is still on. This puppy is on. This puppy is on. These other puppies, I'm not too concerned about. Benny produces extremely good dogs, but she is not the best mom. Look at these puppies. She does not clean behind her puppies. Well, I'm hoping that she'll start though. I think that's uh, it's a lot, y'all. And I hope that this was informative because this is a lesson of its own. I'm going to check back in with y'all sometime tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get an alert and notification that we on. If y'all think that these videos need to ask something, let me know in the comments. If you got questions, feel free to drop and ask a question. We're here to help in any way that we can. It ain't all about the dollar. So give us a call, 216-244-2088, or you can hit up our website, verbalpuppy.com. We got a gang of stuff, uh, information on there. You can learn more about Feeney, about the dad, Black Teddy, why we chose to do the breeding, and uh, what we looking for in these pups. So we got five, six teats exposed. Hey, I appreciate y'all. We got five, six puppies nursing. We're going to put the other puppies that's not nursing off to the side, and then we'll switch those puppies out after so much, so much time. 
Right now, we only got four teats exposed. That's nowhere near enough for all these dogs. If these puppies don't eat in every two hours, they're going to start to get dehydrated. So we got to get on top of this, moms. Moms, you letting your puppies, you going to let them starve to death to be having 10, 12 puppies, and then they end up with two. That's why. You think that everything is good, everything is going good, the puppy's sitting right there on top of the mom, but he ain't doing, he just sitting there, he ain't nursing. How you know? How do you know? Because you get down this up close and personal. Hey, I'm going to check in with y'all tomorrow. Everybody have a blessed evening. Wishing you the best.